Alright, Shalom, it's the brother from GMS, our family head back with a video. Before we go any further, involve praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makark Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most for, for teaching us to warm up in truth according to the Bible well. And peace and blessings so full like the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Shai. You know, we're just going to get into a lesson centered upon, centered around, you know, rebuke, you know, rebuke, you know, let's, uh, let's get this definition of rebuke, actually, because there's been a lot of rebuke, uh, going on in Israel. This is definition of rebuke. It says express sharp dis dis uh, disapproval. Our criticism of someone because of their behavior or actions. So I'm going to read that again. Definition of rebuke. It says express sharp disapproval or criticism of someone's of because of their because of someone's be, criticism. So let me just read that over. Express sharp disapproval or criticism of someone because of their behavior or actions she rebuked him for drinking too much and that's the example so brothers are rebuking you know people uh if you know the lord the, the lord's putting the spirit on men to rebuke those who are out of order you know and that's totally according to the scriptures you know when you get rebuke you know, you should humble down, you know, that's the Lord speaking, no one, everyone always forgets that Yahweh Shema Shai. you know, they, they will acknowledge that the Lord is dealing with men on the earth, that the Lord is talking with the, you know, with the apostles and elders, but when that rebuke comes, they won't acknowledge it, this is Job 33 and 14, for the most high speaketh once, yea, twice, Yet man perceive it not, you know. And a lot of times we don't perceive it is when you're in your feelings, you you get emotional, you know. And it, it happens, you know. But you gotta rebuke that demon. This is a uh, Second Timothy three sixteen. All Scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof. For instruction in righteousness. So, you know, it says reproof, you know, for correction, you know, for that instruction in righteousness. So when you see someone going off, then what? You are going to rebuke them according to what the scriptures say, you know, according to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is a. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So when brothers rebuke, when, you, when you're in the council seat and you're getting rebuked, it's really Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, wanting you, wanting you to repent. I'm going to go back to Leviticus. Let me read this right here. You know, to find it easier just to use the phone, you know, especially if you're going to be recording on the phone, you're not going to be recording your face. But this is a uh, Proverbs 27 and 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. So it's better to openly rebuke you. Why is that? So so the intent that you don't sin, you know, so so you can repent back to Yahweh by Shema Shai and get back on that right path. The scriptures say to, let's get it, um, I want to make this lesson too long, but we're just going to hit these points, and I got a lot of scriptures, you know, I got about 10 scriptures here, you know, going into rebuke, and I just want to hit these points and, uh, close this lesson slot here, um, where's Ecclesiastes, there we go, Ecclesiastes 9 is 4. Was it four and five or four and nine? Yep, four and nine. Dwali Yahweh Shemoshai. 
This is uh, Ecclesiastes 4. And let's start up. It says, uh, 4 and 8. Then I returned and saw vanity under the sun. There is one alone, and there is not a second. Yea, he have neither child. Um, nope, slack here. Just to go straight to point verse 9. It says, uh, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not, for he have not another to help him up. So when you fall, when you sin against Yahweh by Shema Shai, which we are all going to fall and sin, your uh, uh your fellow, your brethren are going to lift you up. And I haven't brought this scripture out in a while. <laughs> um, scripture say, "What well, a righteous man falleth seven times and get it up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief." Uh, let's just type in "fall seven. Yep, twenty. Uh, Proverbs twenty four and sixteen. For the for a just man falleth seven times, and seven is a complete number. So you're going to fall, you're going to make mistakes. No one is perfect. We're not perfect. You know, we make mistakes. And what? We have our brethren there. We have the brothers. We have the apostles, the elders to rebuke us, to get us back on that right path. For a just man falls seven times and rises up again. How does he rise up? By that rebuke from his brethren, you see? But the wicked shall fall into mischief. You know, the wicked is going to fall into that mischief. They're going to continue in their wickedness. This is uh, Job. This is Job 4 in uh, um, uh, Job 4 and 3. Behold, thou has instructed many and has strengthened the weak hands. Yeah, you might be a teacher. You know, you might go out there and preach the word. You might have said some advice to a brother. You know, that's really strengthened his spirit. Thy word have upholded them that was fallen. See, thy words have upholded them that was fallen, and thou hast strengthened the feeble knees. But now it is come upon thee, and thou faintest. It touches thee, and thou art troubled. Yeah, so now you're, you have fallen, you know, but now you're fainting. You're not taking... Why? Because you're not taking, you know, your brother's hand, you know, which is your lifeline to get back up, you know? This is um back in uh, Leviticus 19 and 17. It says, Thou shall not hate thy brother in thine heart. See, if you hate your brother, you're going to allow him to go off. You're going to allow him to, to continue, you know, being out of order, continue. To commit wickedness, you know, continue not to do uh, their lessons until the Lord come back and destroy them. But this is why the Lord, this is a law. You see, we're in the book of Leviticus 19, 17. Then thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see? You know, no no one man is above rebuke. What do you think we go out there in the highways and byways to do every weekend? Weren't you in this predicament at one point where they didn't know the truth? Isaiah 58 1, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their, their sins. It says spare not. And what we're going to rebuke our people and if their feelings get hurt, you know, we did it out of love. You know, we were showing them where they were going off at. Scripture say, the wages of sin is on death. Is leaves is, the wages of sin is death. You know, so they're on that path that leads to destruction. You know, don't matter how 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 we how we deliver the message. You know, that don't matter. Um, it's like yeah. You are supposed to repent when you hear the rebuke. 
Uh, let me get, uh, before we go there, let me get this one in Proverbs. No. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 23. These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto the wicked, thou art righteous, him shall the people curse. Nations shall abhor him, but to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. So those that rebuke, so we must rebuke our people, you know? That rebuke is good. Yahweh Shema Shai wants us to rebuke uh, one another, you know? That's how we are upholding and we are lifted up. That's what is, I don't believe I finished that Ecclesiastes Four. Let me see if I did. Just one second. Yep, no, I didn't. I knew that was a precept. The Lord just reminded me. It says, um, back in Ecclesiastes uh, 4 9, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto him. That is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. So woe unto him that fall uh, that is alone when he is when he falleth, you know, for he have not another to lift him up, you know. So the brothers, you know, through that rebuke, we lift up one another. This is Job five and seventeen. Behold. Happy is the man whom the Most High correcteth. See, happy is the man who the Most High correcteth. Because they were on, do you not realize that if you continue on your way that you are going to be destroyed? But those who are uh, receive correction, they're happy. Because you just, uh, uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, you're back on that right path, you see? The path that leadeth unto life. Therefore, despise Despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. See, you know, Proverbs 13, 13, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. You know, when brothers, when they're rebuking, they're, they're rebuking you according to, what, the scriptures, you know? So it's not us that you're coming up against ultimately, it's the Lord. It's the Lord rebuking you, you see? This is uh, Sirach 20 and, thir- and 3. Sirach chapter 20, verse 3. Um, um, yep, Sirach 20 and 3. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? So shall thou escape willful sin. So how good is it when you are reproved to show repentance? That should be... Your attitude when you're when you're being rebuked, when you're being corrected, to show repentance. This is Sirach thirty-two and seventeen. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth but findeth an excuse according to his own will. So a sinful man, he is not going to be reproved. He is not going to take the correction, but he is going to find. An excuse according to his wickedness. Which I have an example of that. Um, Because everyone wants, you know, scripts talk about how knowledge puffeth up. You know, once this knowledge, once they they, they stop, once once Shay gets this knowledge, you know, they think they're above rebuke, you know? But you, you, that, that's not how things are. This is, um, this is a uh, First Samuel's. You know, this is dealing with wicked King Saul. This is First Samuel. Uh, um, this is First Samuel's fifteen and sixteen. Then Samuel said unto Saul, "Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord has said to me this night, and what He said unto him." And he said unto him, "Stay on." See, what the this is the Lord speaking, Yahweh Shemuel Shai. And Samuel said, 
he's just using Samuel as a mouthpiece, you know? And Samuel said, When thou was little in thine own sight, was not thou made the head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel? See, when we first come into this truth, you know, brothers, no, you, you know, you come in humble, you know, contrite spirit, you know, just find out about the truth. You don't really know anything. You're willing to do anything you can to help out the camp. But once you start getting that knowledge, you know, and you got to get rebuked, you got to take that rebuke and humble down. But if you don't, you're going to end up like wicked King Saul. You're going to be rejected from Yahweh by Shimon Shai. The Lord sent thee on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners of the Amalekar, the Am, Amor. Go and utterly destroy the sinners of the, the Amor. Amaleks and fight against them until they be cons be consumed. Wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst fly upon the spoil, and didst evil in the sight of the Lord? See that Samuel is rebuking him. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yeah, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. This, he's one, he is justifying himself, you see, and Samuel, and he's trying to point the finger, and Samuel said unto, and the Saul Samuel, and Saul said unto Samuel, yeah, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord, and have gone the way which the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, sent me, and have brought Agog, the king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed the 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 Am the Amalites. But the people took the the sheep, and oxen, and the sh the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, the sacrifice unto the Lord, thy power, and and Gilead. See, he he made an excuse, you know. And, you know, we know what the rest of the story says. He was, you know, Yahweh Shimon Shai rejected him from being king. And, you know, we are trying to be kings, a nation of kings and priests. So we cannot come in that spirit of, you know, making excuses, justifying ourselves. You know, that's not what, that's not how we're supposed to be. This is uh, Psalms 141 and 5. Start wrapping this up. Psalms 141 and 5. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil. Which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also. Shall be in their calamity. You know so. The, the righteous. They're, they're, they, 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 they. It should be. Uh, let them. You know reprove you. That's that's a good thing. This is a uh, uh, um, Proverbs uh, nine and seven. It says, uh, "Let's start eight. So it should reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man." And he will increase in learning. You see? Because he's going to add on to the knowledge that he had. You know? And whatever correction he needs to make, he's going to make it. Let's bring up the last precept. Um, I did want to get the example in Mark. We'll, we'll close. We'll, 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 we'll get the example in Mark and then close out on Revelation. This is um, Mark. Chapter 8, verse 33. Okay, <laughs> this is Mark 8 and 31. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and, the, and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. 
And he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of the Most High. See, the Lord rebuked Peter, did he not? He even called him Satan. It says, Get behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of the Most High, but the things that be of men. You see, so even uh, uh, King David was rebuked, because if you can receive it, you know, Peter being the head of the, um, you know, the head, that the Lord appointed the head, you know, are we not, are we not the house of David? You know, that's King David in the reincarnation, but that's besides the point. This is, um, Revelations 3 and 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be therefore zealous and repent. So, you know, when the rebuke comes out, you know, consider those things, don't try to justify yourself, just repent, you know, just repent, you know, pray to Yah Bashim Shai, take the rebuke, you know, don't ever try to justify yourself to make excuses, you take the rebuke. You know, and the reports come out that uh, that you weren't in the wrong, you know. Your brothers are going to say Salakia. But if you are in the wrong, pray to Yahweh Shema Shai and ask for forgiveness, you know. That's all it takes, you know. Uh, take your case to Yahweh Shema Shai. With that, Lord's willing, uh, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, there's always more precepts you can bring out, but, you know, the point's been made. We give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash. The Barnes, the Apostles and Elders, the Great Millstone, for teaching us to warm and truth according to the Bible well. In peace and blessings, still full elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.